Welcome everybody to a new video on my channel. Today we'll be talking about three new types of fish. We'll be talking about the spider fish, which you might not have heard about, the starfish, and the sea urchin. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you learn a few things about these new fish. Please join us. Let's now start with the starfish or the sea star. Now, the starfish is a star-shaped echinondum belonging to the class Asteroida. Now, an echinondum is basically any member of the film Echinondum Mater. The adults of this classification can be recognized by their usually five-point radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is basically uh, repeating patterns over an axis. There are different types of echinondums like sea urchins, starfish, and sea cucumbers. Did you know that sometimes the starfish is known to be an asteroid because it comes from the class Asteroida and that 1,500 species roam the oceans from the tropic oceans to the cold polar waters? Now you know. Starfish can be found in the interdial zone which is a place where the tide goes in and out when you want to swim in the ocean where you usually swim in the ocean and they can also be to a bisal depth from 6,000 meters or 20,000 feet below the surface. Did you know how starfish walk? Starfish walk with little, very little tube legs, but they have a lot of them all around their body. They walk very slowly though, just like sea urchins. They also have tube legs. Starfish are marine invertebrates. They typically have five arms, but some of the other species don't have five arms. They have more than five arms. Let's go to the next species, which is the sea urchin. Sea urchins are spiny globular animals and are also echinodoms, just like starfish, but they're in the class Echinoidea. About 950 species live on the seabed, from the interdial zone to 5,000 feet underwater or 16,000 feet underwater. Sea urchins usually have venom. You have to step on a sea urchin to get the venom, but some sea urchins are friendly. They have venom that hurts for long periods of time but it doesn't actually kill you. So be careful around sea urchins, whether you know the species or whether you don't know the species, because it might have venom still. So just tell a lifeguard if you ever see a sea urchin. A sea urchin's hard shell is, is spiny and round, from three to 10 centimeters across. Something else about the sea urchin is that it moves very slowly with its tube feet, but it sometimes pushes itself with its spines. Sea urchins primarily feed on algae, but they can also feed on slow-moving and sessile animals. Sessile means an animal that doesn't have the power to move or it's immobile. Let's go on to the next fish, which is the spider fish. The spider fish is a fish that usually has five to six legs and camouflages underwater. Now, you wouldn't be able to find this spider fish usually a lot when you're out in the boat. You'll have to go really close to the spider fish to see it or have really good sight because they camouflage really well. You'll usually found, find them a, between rocks or coral because that's where they like to camouflage. Something else about them is they're not like starfish. They usually wiggle a lot or move a lot. That's why their name is the spider fish because they move kind of like spiders. Something else about them is that they have no venom. So if you find, find one, you won't get struck or bitten or you won't have to step on one to get venom. You won't get any venom. This is the end of the video. I hope you had an enjoyable time watching the video. Have a nice day. I hope you spread the information with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye.